see Jeff here again another contest I had not planned on making two videos on the same day um, literally made the other video about the contest I entered for Rachel and sat down for a lunch break at work and boom contest video from Robert's on my turntable so he is pushing to a thousand easy contest bunch of records that spell the word thousand if for some reason you don't have all of those, I think U is probably one of the more complicated ones to have, then spell the word grand. I'm going for thousand, going for it all, going for the gusto. So we're going to jump right into this. Quick and sweet. Thousand. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. I could do the whole thing in one con in one thing. Thousand Foot Crutch. That's the name of the band. You don't believe me? It is. It is. Is it on the side there? Thousand Foot Crutch. Crutch. Yes, that's the name of the band. Excellent band, excellent band. Eh, alt rock. At early days was rap rock. Kind of has that stuff. Love, love, love this band. They are just so cool. Anyway, T for thousand or thousand in itself by itself. Hollywood Vampires. Johnny Depp. Yep. Kind of a uh, good timing, right? Yeah, okay. Hollywood Vampires. There you go. Johnny Depp, Steve Perry, uh, Alice Cooper. You got all kinds of people in here. So, um, wow. Yeah, all kinds of people on this particular album. So, uh, and then the second album, you know, is more of a band project. So, T-H-O of Gods and Monsters. Absolutely one of the best super group power metal, I guess you could call it. American power metal of sorts. Um, just great stuff. This was released, uh, what, just a couple years ago? And, yeah, anyway, if you don't know about this, you need to check this out. Absolutely. I won't even go into it, but we got, you know, members from all kinds of bands. Journey, Striper, all kinds of stuff going on there. And then, under, uh, you, we got some Undercover, uh, Undercover Devotion, absolutely one of my favorites. This is one of the albums that somebody asked me on Discogs if I'd be ready to, uh, willing to part with, which... I was struggling and I decided not to, but anyway, one of those Kickstarter programs that I funded a couple years ago. Great stuff. Uh, Undercover started off being kind of pop punk back in the 80s ish, and later on in the 90s went more alternative. And this is one of their alternative, just heavy, grungy alternative music. Uh, up next, S. Oh, I did try, okay, so I did try to go with a little more obscure bands. That's where I'm going with this. I didn't want to go with all the common stuff. Shogun. Shogun, if you're not familiar, there's two albums that by them, at least two albums I know of, and this is one of them, and the other one I have yet to ever find uh, the vinyl for yet. Singer for Tokyo Blade, one of my favorite bands from back in the day. The singer was released, and he went on to make Shogun, so it's got a Tokyo Blade vibe to it as far as the vocals. He came back to the band, but um, anyway. Um, and then so we got uh, T H O U. S A all for the king. I might or might not have shown this. This is a couple months ago. I think I did show it because I ordered it and it took like many months to get there. But uh, just an amazing. Uh, are they from Sweden? I believe. Just an amazing. Just uh, I don't know. Kind of doomy at times, but just straightforward metal. Just straightforward metal. Great musicianship. Great vocals. Love this. This is their second. Yeah, their second album anyway great stuff a and then we got in this one i know i've never shown before negative space this is a uh, what was this a, i think it was a record store day release or it was something a while back so yeah this was actually given to me by steve over at harmless rubble what happened is um i don't know months and months and months and months ago we talked about something and he had an album that uh, i didn't have and he said i got an extra i'll send it to you and that you know got lost in shuffled lost in the shuffle over time and then he posted something on facebook that i actually bought and he's like oh i'm gonna make sure i send you that album that uh, th that i was supposed to send you months ago and so yeah and and this he threw in um it, it i don't really you know a crucial and thundering piece of proto metal history this is from like 1970 really hard to find um and it's it's really raw it's interesting listen so yeah there you go though i'm gonna throw that in there for negative space anybody else heard that ben I had not heard of it. Listened to it a couple times. And then the last, D. Got some dark water. Just an amazing, I want to use the term loosely progressive, you know, kind of a straightforward 
power metal, melodic, hard rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, just another a European band made up of some other members from other bands that are amazing. Came with the sticker. It is just, you know, they have a couple albums out. This is, I think, their most recent. At least at the time of buying this, it was their most recent. Great stuff. There you go. Thousand. Jump on board. Link below for his video telling you all about it. Robert's on my turntable. He's pushing to 1,000. He's a little over 935, 36-ish. So we got a little ways to go. Contest is going to go to the end of July. So you've got time. Jump on board. I'll see you later. Rock on. Rock hard.